This video is going to show you how to use some of the formatting that is offered in charts for Microsoft Word for when you're creating your labs. So if I want to have a chart, I can go to Insert, Table, and I can choose how big I want my chart to be. So let's say, where'd it go? Sorry about that. Um, let's say that I want to have a chart that has my independent variable along with three trials. Sorry, I'm struggling with my new laptop here. With three trials and an average. Okay, so I want my chart to be that long, and I'm going to have three tests and an extra room for the secondary level of heading. So you may have noticed I may have shown you a sample chart. Um, you're going to use a function where you get to merge cells. So I'm going to highlight these two cells because I actually only want one cell to be there. Highlight them, right click, and merge cell. And they are now one cell. So whatever my independent variable was, if it was temperature of water, then I'm going to put temperature. And if I actually measured, I'm going to put unit. If I didn't, then I don't need a unit. And then again, I'm going to do some merging here. So if I highlight that group of cells, I can right click, merge cells. And everything under here is going to be my dependent variable. So this, let's just say for argument's sake, I did number of drops. So number of drops. And perhaps I want that to be centered, just for the sake of having it centered. There's also a, um, more you can do if you go to layout under your tools format. Um, I can center it in both ways. So there we go totally centered for that one. And now I have space to put in all my trials, etc. So trial one, trial two, trial three, and average. And notice I put my number of drops here, remember, is across all four of these, so it tells me that all four of these things are depicting a number of drops.